Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode here at Maple Monkey Media. My name is Adam. Thanks for taking some time out of your day, stopping by the channel, stopping by the property, the off-grid cabin, garden area, self-sustainable living to see what's going on. Today's video, I'm gonna finally get on with building my herb garden, doing a little herb spiral. I showed you guys the little wall that I had built already out of brick, so I'm gonna continue that, get some rocks on the go, and uh, get that herb spiral on the go. I only got a couple hours to work with, but uh, that's what the video is. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, be sure to follow along, share it away, woo! And let's get on with this herb spiral.
Well, there we have it. Just like that, we have the herb spiral all made, all good, just needs to be filled up with dirt. The good thing is all of those bricks and rocks I dug up there from when I was digging out the pond. So that's an added bonus. Uh, there's still all kinds of bricks kicking around, I don't know, from years ago from something that was here. So I'm gonna be using them periodically through any kind of uh, builds that I need for the garden with things like that. So yeah, that is the herb garden right there, the herb spiral. So there's gonna be things like dill and parsley and, and lemongrass and all kinds of different herbs going on in there in the next little bit. Uh, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna just get a couple shovels and we're gonna fill it up with some dirt from the greenhouse that has the most nutrients in it so far. The garden is on the way. Oh, and from the last video as well, uh, I see a couple pea shoots coming up. I see a couple uh, cucumber and cucumelons coming up. Uh, no potatoes yet. And I think I see a couple uh, red cherry tomatoes coming up. There we have it, we have the herb garden all filled up with dirt. Well, there we have it, there's the herb garden all done. Herb spiral, gonna start up at the top here, plant all the way down into the center. And then the good thing about this is the water will run and follow all the way down the spiral and go all the way to the bottom. Alrighty, it's a new day and the work on the herb garden is continuing. I seen a picture earlier and it gave me a good idea to put a little kind of a little frog pond on the top. So that's what we're going to do. And I also have a chart that they say is the best kind of way for uh, for planting this herb garden for the best way to w for the water and the different kind of plants. So we're going to get on with putting on this little uh, frog pond on the top here. And then we're going to get on and I'll show you what I have over here in the toolbox for seeds. And we're going to get planting this herb garden.
All right, well, there we go. The herb garden is coming along beautifully. There's the actual spiral right there. And then right over here, just digging the, uh, the little pond that I decided to have. Probably only gonna be about a foot deep, but that's completely okay. So the next step is now that I got the, the, uh, the bottom all dug out there, is I have some black plastic I'm gonna lay down kind of as a pond liner, get that all set in place and uh, fill it up with water. And then we'll get uh, planting over here in the herb garden. And I'll show you what I have, uh, what yum yums I have going over there. Well, there we have it. We have some water in the old little pond there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go back over it and uh, build up the wall a little bit going around it with some more brick and some stone. And uh, I put in some more dirt here for the herb garden as well. So it's coming together, looking absolutely great. There's two layers of this uh, black plastic down there. There's a couple holes in it. So we'll see what happens with the water. If it, uh, if it keeps draining out, I'll just put in another layer and uh, keep going from there. But yeah, it's looking absolutely great. Not too bad for, you know, a couple hours of work. All right, so here's what we're gonna be planting here from top down in the spiral. We have some dill, cilantro, lemon basil, uh, some large Italian leaf basil. Uh, this is chives, uh, triple moss curled parsley, thyme, lemon balm, and some arugula. So this is gonna be at the top, and then this is gonna be slowly going down all the way to the very bottom to that one. So right here, this is just some dill. We're planting some cilantro. Oh, small little seeds. Basil. Basil is small seeds. So I'm just planting a lot of seeds just because germination rate, I'm not sure about it, so. There's a little chive bed. All right, well there we have it. The herb garden is all done. Unfortunately, the pond will need a little bit of work. Uh, the water seems to be slowly draining out through the hole, so that's no big deal. I'll just pick up some tape and we'll get that all fixed up. But uh, the, the herb garden is all done. It's planted, I have it all watered. And uh, yeah, looking beautiful. So let's see uh, here in the next little bit what's gonna be sprouting in it. Thanks for tuning in. This is Adam here at Maple Monkey Media signing off for the day. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, any content that you've seen on the channel. And if you want to support it, that is just easy to do. You can just hit that like button and that red subscribe button down below. We're almost at a thousand, got another 200 and some odd to go. Let's go everybody, let's go. Hope you have a beautiful day and uh, continue chasing your dreams. Adam signing off here. Woo!